The handloom industry is the second largest economic activity in India after agriculture giving livelihood to millions of people. But with the relentless march of mechanization, this beautiful handwoven craft on loom is at jaws of death. 25 years ago, IIM Ahmedabad conducted a research on this sector. For Indu Menon, one of the research team member, the project gave an insight into the sorrowful life of women weavers. 25 years after, she saw them again. This time, after her retirement, their lives had become more pathetic. Many were living a life of abject poverty. Indu Menon realized the scope of a social entrepreneurship in the industry when she envisaged that a fabric made with craft and dedication will enhance its longevity and grab the attention of customers, especially foreigners. She was hell-bent on reviving the industry. If you look around, Kerala handloom has only two staple fabrics, Thort and the Munda. That's when we found that even the Munda, if, I mean, if you look at it, you know, the Kerala Sari, Kerala Munda, how much can, uh, there's only this much that it can be taken to because that's only worn by Malayalis. It rarely worn by non-Malayalis. So then we thought, why not convert that fabric also into contemporary fabrics, I mean, uh, uh, apparel, or you know something like fashion accessories and make it a global product. Indu Menon gave a distinctive meaning to entrepreneurship when she understood the inherent value of exclusivity and versatility in a piece of cloth called Tortha. She facilitated the bathrooms and started Kara Weaves. And Kara today is the emerging apparel brand in United States of America. Because of the of the very virtue of the weave, it is a Irara Tortha, they call it. That means two strand by two strand is a basket weave. So the absorption and desorption of water is, is very high, you know. It can absorb water very fast and it can dry also very fast. So, so, so the biggest USP is that uh, it absorbs very well. And secondly, it consumes, uh, I think, one-fifth the water of any other towel, this Turkish towel, to wash. Storage space is less. Kara makes and exports handwoven product from costas to cocktail napkins to the US and other foreign markets. Uh, it's a nursing scarf, you know, where uh, made of torta, where you like where the mother can put it around herself while, while feeding the baby, and after feeding the baby, it can be twirled around and put like a scarf, you know. So and it can be also used like a sun cover. So and what we did was, you know, whatever use of torta we saw in Kerala. We just made it contemporary. Between we have table napkins, we have kitchen towels, we have aprons, then we have bath robes, uh, apparel, we have kaftan, we have simple tops. Kara products are being sold to the Casino Group hotels. Kara targets hotels, sports, and hospital industries where good quality clothes are high in demand. The mission was to help help the weaving community. Only through a good business model we can help them. Future looks bright for Kara because each weaves tell a story. Story of survival and revival.